Hi, good morning. I'm Brian Arslanian, plastic surgeon in Atlanta, Georgia. And this morning I just want to answer some questions about the new Inspira breast implants that have come out onto the market recently. Now, Inspira is made by uh, the parent company Allergan, which has a line of breast implants called Natrell. And the way that the Inspira implants differ from their standard implants is essentially what's called the fill volume. The fill volume is referring to how much silicone gel is actually placed into the silicone um, uh, shell. And in the standard implants, roughly 80% or so of the shell was filled with gel, which meant there was a little bit of wiggle room for the silicone gel. The newer implants are filled almost to capacity. And so just to give you a, an idea of how that looks, I've got the two implants here. And on this side, you can see this is the standard Allergan uh, Nitrell implant. And you can see how it's different from the Inspira implant in that you can see some rippling and this implant doesn't have quite as much projection in this direction as the Inspira implant, which has a nicer round and uh, full look to it. And again, if I show you from the side, like you would see it in the human body, Again, here is the, the older implant, which again, you can see some of the rippling, and you can see, I want you to look at the projection from back to front and compare that to the Inspira implants, which essentially you see almost no rippling. You see a fuller look, and there's a bit larger distance from back to front here, giving you more projection. So it's not that one is better than the other, but if you're looking for a fuller breast augmentation, more upper pull fullness, if you're looking for a softer, rounder look, then the Inspire implant might be right for you. The other place that comes in um, very useful is in women who are very thin and don't have a lot of uh, soft tissue coverage over their chest wall. In those patients, we almost always have to place the implant below the muscle because if we place it on top of the muscle, you'll see the implant because there's not much soft tissue coverage over it. But now with the new Inspira implants, because of the fact that they essentially are not rippling or rippling very minimally, we, could, we can place these implants now on top of the muscle, um, which helps with post-operative pain because there's less pain, it's a little bit easier recovery, and gives you a little bit more of a natural look. Um, and so that's the great thing about these new implants. Um, the best thing for you is to go see your plastic surgeon, sit down, have a talk with them, a consultation, and see exactly what implants right for you, and um, hopefully you can be a happy customer when you leave. So I hope that answers your questions about the new Inspira breast implants. Thank you.